Hi, so we're going to continue our Carnival of the Animals book. And so, let's see. We have listened to the introduction. We were lions. Last time we were roosters and hens. And, oops, I missed a page. We were donkeys. So today we're going to be two more animals. The first one, you got a preview, is the tortoise. So tortoises and turtles are similar, um, but they are definitely a little bit different. So this is the tortoise. So look at this, this great uh, picture drawn by our illustrator, Mary Grand Prix. Um, look at this tortoise shell. What's unique about it? Yeah, she's drawn a window and a chimney. Why would she do that? Do you know why she would have done that? Did you say it's because the tortoise's shell is its house? If you did, you're exactly right. They carry their house with them everywhere they go. Ooh, that would be heavy, wouldn't it? So let's listen to what our author, Jack Perlutsky, has to say about the tortoise. A tortoise. A tortoise lugs his house about and lumbers on all fours. He clearly never seems to be completely out of doors. The tortoise is a cautious sort, not known for being bold. And so the tortoise lives to be exceptionally old. The tortoise never hurries and is happily resigned to being late for dinner and to being left behind. The tortoise doesn't ask for more if he can do with less. Perhaps... That is the secret of the tortoise's success. All right, so I want you to get up out of that chair and get on your hands and knees. Now, do you think you need to move slowly or quickly to be a good tortoise? That's right, very slowly. And I want you to pretend you have your entire house on your back. Ooh, look around at your house. Woo, huge. So it'd be very heavy, right? So if you need to stop and take a break sometimes... You can tuck yourself inside your tortoise shell and lay on the floor take a, and take a nap that way. Here we go. So that was very slow, wasn't it? Yes, that m music was just as slow as a tortoise would move, wasn't it? Is it? Wasn't it? All right, let's move on. We're going to do one more animal. This animal also sometimes moves slow because it's very big. The elephant. So let's see what our author says about the elephant. Elephants. 
An elephant never forgets to remember the things he remembers to never forget. An elephant knows that it snows in December, that summer is warmer and water is wet. An elephant's ears are a genuine wonder. An elephant's trunk is an elephant's pride. His footfalls are often mistaken for thunder. If you're in the neighborhood, do step aside. When elephants gather, the ground starts to tremble beneath the great weight of their ponderous feet. Be glad there are elephants left to assemble. Without them, our planet would feel incomplete. All right, so now you can crawl on your hands and knees if you want, or you can just walk around, but you have to pretend you are so heavy, big, giant, heavy steps. And every now and then, if you want, you can flap your giant elephant ears, or you can raise your giant elephant trunk. So enjoy, here we go, let's be elephants. That's it for this week, and we'll see what animals we're going to be next week. Bye.